Hey, my name is Brian with WorshipTutorials.com. I'm excited today to tell you that we have uh, minor pads available now at Worship Tutorials. So many of you have, uh, have downloaded, have purchased, and used our our pads in the in all 12 major keys and we've heard from so many of you that uh, that you love them that they're working well and uh, we agree we use these at all of our campuses uh, where I lead the church where I lead worship and they just work really well and many of you have been asking when can we get uh, pads in the minor keys and so we've made them for you and you get all 12 uh, keys it's much like the major key pad set all the kind of the same things they're 20 minutes long um, they, they, you get all 12 keys in the minor keys, and uh, they're not progression specific, so you can play anything in that key on top of them. And if you don't know what pads are, all you need to do is uh, listen, because you're hearing them right now, and it's sort of this uh, atmospheric ambiance thing that you're hearing in the background. You really do hear these in most modern worship music. It sort of lays a sound bed, uh, makes it feel nice and full and thick, and uh, it also helps with transitions, and I'll talk about how to do that in just a second. But uh, we really, we really work these minor pads from the ground up, and they sound significantly different than the major pads. Um, and they just sound dark and minor and sort of uh, mellow, introspective, which is what you want. That's why you write a song in a minor key, to make it feel dark um, and minor. So uh, you're hearing now the pad in the key of D minor, which is the saddest of all the keys that exist. And uh, I want to play a song in D minor uh, that is very popular in worship music these days. It's I Surrender by Hillsong. It, uh, it's in D minor. If you've played this one with our major pads, you would use the F uh, key of F pad. Um, D minor is the relative minor of F. And maybe that's a lesson for another day relative minors and majors, but uh, it might not have felt the way you wanted it to. This one will. So you're hearing the pad in D minor. Like I said, you don't have to follow a click track. Really anything in the key of D minor you play on top of this will fit because the pad just hangs on the root note. So I'm going to play a little uh, I Surrender. So here's that D minor. Here I am down on my knees Surrendering all Surrendering all and I surrender See, it just fits right on top of it Makes it sound really big, really full Okay? So you can, uh, if you're a solo or a musician or in a small band or in, in your church, maybe perhaps, these really help um, fill the sound out. Now, uh, I use these and we use these a lot with large bands and large teams. And uh, say you have all of your instruments covered, like you've got a couple guitars, bass, drums, uh, keys, vocalists, everything. And uh, you can still use these pads, and what it allows is your keyboard player does not have to play pads. They can, uh, you free them up to play something a little more fun maybe for them, like, uh, like an organ or like a piano. Um, say you're going to play the song uh, How He Loves, which has a lead piano line. They can play that and not have to worry about playing those pads. Um, or they can play electric piano, anything really. It just gives you a lot more artistic and creative freedom. So what I said earlier is it really helps you with transitions. I'm going to demonstrate that. So let's say we're doing a set where um, we're going to go from D minor uh, playing I Surrender into How He Loves, which uh, would be in the key of C for this example. So what you can do is you can finish I Surrender and uh, let the pad crossfade into uh, the key of C pad for How He Loves. I'm going to show you how that works. So we're playing I Surrender. Say we're on the last chord. There's the end of I Surrender. Pad fades out. Key of C pad fades right in. And you notice how smooth that was. See, the other thing it would allow you to do is you could have, while that transition was happening, you could take your capo off and you could play 
You can play it down here and see if you want. And you'll notice that uh, that this song just fits right on top of that pad. He is jealous for me. So uh, it just really helps it feel big. And the C pad that you're hearing now is the major keypad. So head over to worshiptutorials.com. There's a link backslash pads and uh, you can listen to all of them. You can hear every single key in every in both uh, major and minor sets. And uh, you can hear songs. I've played songs on acoustic with and without them. So you can sort of hear what they do. You can use these for other elements. Like you can bring them in at the end of a message while your pastor is uh, speaking. And then if you're in the same, if you bring them in in the same key as the song you're going to play after, you just start playing. And it's a seamless transition from one thing to the next. Transitions are so, so important. And uh, if you don't focus on them, uh, this would be a good time to start, and pads can help you do it and make them better. So, uh, like I said, head over there to Worship Tutorials. You can check out both major and minor key sets. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.